the worst couples ever. What's going on guys, Shy Clips here once again. I'm sure to some wall clips of the worst couples I can find. Looks like my favorite clip will be at the end, guys. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one, it is definitely insane as well. Basically, we have this man over here. He's actually objecting his daughter's wedding due to the fact that the man she's marrying doesn't have his papers. And I guess he's suspecting that the only reason he's marrying her is for papers. I don't know if it was a good time to do this during the wedding day. You had so much time beforehand. But let me know what you guys think about this. Does she have papers in Canada? That's the simple question I ask. Answer the question. Yes, sir. Ole. Ole. Well, now, God bless you. You may get on to the other side. Have a wonderful day. I love you. If I have to bury her, every Sunday after dinner after her, we'll be dinner. Every Sunday after her funeral, we'll be dinner. It's, it's a marriage of immigration, not a marriage of love. He has no papers. I'm not going to sit here and push my daughter down that dark path. No! And this next one is actually such a horrible friend group. Basically, they're celebrating that their friend is now single. And I'm like, yo, it's your friends that are like preying on your downfall. They love when you're just not in a good or happy relationship. And we're not really sure exactly about the details of the relationship, but they shouldn't be cheering like this. Personally, so incredibly selfish because I have, and the reason you stayed in America, I allowed you to stay with my friends. You and I are done. The single friends love to keep each other from single and that's it at the end of the day in this next we have his boyfriend over here he was definitely caught in the act of trying to cheat basically with his girlfriend's best friend apparently she had a camera right below him and when he walked inside the car it was pretty much over once again i don't know why you have a camera it's not like you need to expose him on camera i'm pretty sure the girlfriend was just taking her best friend's word And this next one is actually foul as well. Basically, we have this man over here. I guess he ends up checking out that his girlfriend is not actually going to work every single day. She's actually at some random guy's crib. And the way he found out was from his best friend. Apparently, his best friend also works around the area. Ended up catching this man's girl, always pulling up to this guy's house. And he's like, yo, wait a minute. She's not going to work. This is definitely insane. And to be honest, it does happen quite often. I told you. What's up? I said, what's up? 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 No, you're not going to work there. Have, you don't look like you're dressed in your work clothes. Shit, you work, come I on, stop. Just listen, listen, dude, you got your phone. Stop playing with you've been lying to him, man. You I told you. Listen, my homie, listen, my homie said, he said he's been seeing you for the past week. Come over here every day. I've been telling you you're going to work. He's telling me you ain't going to work. Like, this, this ain't no, this don't look like no. What you do for trust? Like, no, this, 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 this don't. Got, this is my job. I don't know. No, this is what I'm saying. This don't look like no job. This is like, this look like apartments or something. This look like a house. Okay, well, let me go. Let me go. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I told you. Yep. I told you. I told you. I don't go on your job with that. Trust me. You're trying me right now. You're trying me like I'm just what I'm doing. You're trying me like I'm doing. Love. That's not what we're going to do. I can't go in there. We've been professional. We just talk talking about that we're changing and we're doing other I'm not doing Bro, listen, bro, like, look, like, hey, I, I apologize. Listen, I apologize for not believing you, bro. I know you kept trying to tell me. You want to apologize on my account? Yeah, because he's been telling me you want to play. You're not going to play him like that, bro. You're not going to play my boy like that. Listen to this, though. Did you forget he do security every day? He do security. Now, obviously, she's already calling the act. I'm not even sure why she's trying to block the door. You even need to block the door. We know what's behind there. It's obviously a whole other guy there. But like I said, the best friend was definitely clutch for doing this. I know a lot of people that would have probably just ignored this and never put the two and two together. So this guy definitely has a good friend around got stained because i was eating and we i was feeding our son Bro, I know in your business, that's what I'm saying, bro. I, I ain't stupid go act like I said, I appreciate you for listening, yo. For sure. You, you, you told me she was cheating on me. For real, like, don't even think you're going to say, no, no, listen, no, 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 this is about you. And this next one, this guy is definitely not for his girlfriend at all. I guess they had a bunch of breakups currently. And this is like one of the last ones. This guy's totally fed up and he doesn't care about his girlfriend leaving him forever. I'm done. We already broke up way too many times. Like, 
Okay. Hey, we're done. All right, then. I must be too long. Hey, we're done. Hey, we're done. I'm not, I'm not stopping you from doing anything. I encourage you to be better for yourself. So I don't understand where this is coming from. And this sex was absolutely hilarious. Maybe this is a joke, maybe it's not. Basically, I guess this guy's pulling up to the drive-thru at McDonald's, and everybody always says, welcome back to McDonald's. I guess this girl took it as, oh, this man is definitely cheating on her with the person who's talking? I don't know, you guys let me know your thoughts. But well, who was you up here with? Bro, can we get the food? No, we're not getting to the food, so you answer. Bro, me. like, they always say welcome back to McDonald's. No, like, they why don't. Why you got the camera on? You're excited, bro. Because I need to know, period. So who was you up here with? Bro, you I, the girl up here? Bro, they always say welcome back. Yeah, bro, and this text was definitely sad that the girl had this such of a realization. But then again, this is why we make these kind of videos to warn people about this kind of lifestyle. Basically, these girls get into OnlyFans thinking that their life is going to become a dream come true after they make so much money. But in reality, they become depressed so quickly and desensitized to literally everything. And I guess this ended up happening to this girl. And like the sad part is once you get your foot into this industry, you really can't get out. You're pretty much trapped there forever. I'm trying so hard not to get get like super upset while sharing this but if i'm being honest my mental health since i've started this <sighs> has just slowly like been on such a decline and i would say that it started maybe like honestly probably seven months ago where about like maybe six months into doing this yeah about six months i started to get super burnt out like i feel a little bit dead inside I feel completely desensitized. But I think with this line of work, men, you really, <laughs> you will never catch a man being more honest and more authentic and more real and not necessarily in a good way than they are and the way that they present themselves to girls who do stuff that I do. And this next one is a perfect example of what I meant in the last clip, except it's a bit different. I guess this girl really regrets sleeping around when she was younger and just, I guess, getting used. Finally, some people are actually waking up that having a high body count isn't a good thing and it shouldn't be normalized because that's exactly what's going on with you. You're just being used. We'll say to 20 year olds and even to my 20 year old self, I hate how I allowed myself to just be like used up by men. And that came from a lack of self worth. Mm -hmm. I did not understand my value that I was born with. I didn't. Mm -hmm. And I gave, again, people look at sex differently, but sex is spiritual unification. At the end of the day, I don't care how you spin it. It's spiritual. For women. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, for, for women. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Fine. For women. It's spiritual unification. And people that I shared my body with, when I think about my list, it's repulsive. And this next one is absolutely so sad. Basically, we have this bigger guy over here. I guess he doesn't rate himself high on a scale of 1 through 10. And that's usually normal for a guy to do. But for him to give this low of a rating is pretty sad. And to be honest, if he actually puts some work into himself, he doesn't have to stay this way. Just lose some weight, get better clothes, and I guess a bit of confidence and you'll be good, bro. What do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? 7. You think other people would agree? Yeah. What do you rate this girl on a scale of 1 to 10? A 10. 10? No. All right, what do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? Negative 40. <laughs> Negative 40? That, that's a bit harsh. Yeah, well, that, that's how it is. All right. You think other people would agree? I guess so. Everybody's always talking about, oh, I want a man, I want a man. I got this cute-ass blazer at the thrift store thinking I look good as hell. And then I come out of the bathroom, he was like, you look like you just won the Masters. It's facts! It's facts! And this next one, I really do hope this guy is okay, because this is absolutely insane to happen at a wedding. Therefore, Jordan, I pledge my life to you. And this next one, we have this woman over here. I guess she's getting called princess privilege for not helping out her man with the groceries or whatever. To be honest, she should have helped him out. This stuff doesn't look too heavy. She could have helped one to two objects. He could have done majority of it. It doesn't matter. The fact that she's just standing there waiting for him to finish is absolutely pathetic of her. And she clearly doesn't have any respect for him, to be honest. Messenger princess for sure. She ain't helping her husband at all. Red flag, homie. Look, she ain't moved. I mean, I guess that's how it's supposed to be, but come on, man. What's up, girl? Uh, What's up? But, but look at this, look at this, guys. She is not moving. 
for real legit She ain't moved one foot And he got her some flowers right there Look Oh, you go. Is she gonna move, Mike? Is she gonna move? No. She ain't gonna love one thing. She you think she'll put the basket back? No. You guys think she'll put the basket back? Oh, look. She said, "Honey, you forgot this one." Oh, he got that one. She still ain't moved. She still ain't moved, man. Come on, bro. Oh, I'm about to run out of time. But look, she ain't moved. Oh, she she moved. He barely moved her hands. Oh. And this sex was guy asked this woman, do you think if a man is rich, does it like somehow change his rating from one through 10? Let's just say majority of these answers are yes. If you guys haven't known, money has a huge factor. If you're short, get rich, you'll get girls. I know you're not getting girls for the right reason and people are just probably using you for money. But if you ever are wondering how you're ever going to get a girl in your life, I guess that's one way. Seven, but he's rich. What's his new rating? A 10. Louder? A 10, because he might have a good personality and then he can also do... You know, we can do good experiences together. Yeah, I mean, rich is a bonus, but if his personality sucks, then he could just drop down to a five. Ten. Why a ten? It's self-explanatory. Explain it. I don't get it. Well, he can buy me stuff, pay rent, pay bills. I don't know. I, I look at, like, looks and personality, not money. So, <laughs> seven to me. It really depends, like how rich, a eh? okay, like so, really rich. Okay, so like really rich. <laughs> all right, well, if we're going to Greece, then yeah, you're at least a nine. <laughs> if you like are an absolute asshole, like, and you don't treat me well, I don't care how rich you are. And this sex was absolutely so sad that Steve Harvey's wife said this way before. I guess we couldn't read in between the lines and judge that this girl's probably gonna be cheating on him later on in life, even though he gives great dating advice. I guess no one is safe from a cheater, to be honest. It's 100 married women. Some days I'd be willing to trade my man for a really good what? Pool boy. A good what? Meanwhile, this. They be f***ing a pool boy and texting and having work husbands and shit like that. I'm telling you, Steve Harvey's wife, that's not his wife. Marjorie is our wife too. Marjorie Harvey is my wife too. Well, I ain't got enough money to get her, but you guys get what I'm saying. But like that clip wasn't good enough. Here's another version of Steph Curry and his wife. I guess they also have the same problem. Goes to show guys that no matter how much money you have, you cannot keep the woman. And it's only the woman herself if she wants to cheat or not. And you really just can't change that. When I found out he was having problems with his. I said a brother with 400 million can't keep a. A brother with a hundred dollars ain't got a shot. What do these. In this text with this woman over here, she ended up stopped talking to a guy because he mentioned the fact that he wants a prenup. Now, guys, this is absolutely horrible for her to, I guess, do this. The guy is only trying to protect himself from later on if she ever comes in the mood to be like, hey, you know what? I don't want you anymore. I feel like I want to go for the neighbor instead. And she just ends up getting divorced for no odd reason, just off her feelings. Of course, a man doesn't want to deal with that and lose half of his things because of that, but she doesn't see the irony of it. My last relationship, we broke. Oh, this should be good. But because he asked me to marry him, but then he asked me to sign a prenuptial. As he should, because, you know, who doesn't want insurance when they're making an investment into something? But let's hear why she might have not wanted to have a prenup in her relationship. And I said, absolutely not. I think that's bogus. I'm not going to sign a piece of paper that says that if you leave me, I get nothing. Like, no, I think that I should have half of everything that you've worked your entire life for. And this is why I think having a conversation of should we get a prenup is the ultimate test in any relationship, because it really lets you know if that person is with you for you or they're with you for the assets or the money that you may gain in the future. Because all the prenup says is, hey, whatever we bring into this relationship is what we're going to leave. If we acquire an asset together, we can split it down 50-50 or whatever you decide. But if you have a problem with that, thank you for letting me see this red flag before I make the biggest mistake of my life. And this next one is absolutely delusional, and it's women like these that are pretty much increasing the divorce rate in the U.S. Your husband is a good guy, but you're ready for divorce. You're not a bad person, so don't let guilt get the best of you. Huh? And this is actually this OnlyFans woman over here. She is pretty much saying that men should stay away from women who do not have their lives together, like financially. But in reality, she doesn't understand that men do not care about how much a woman makes. I guess she thought since she is an OnlyFans woman, and she's so successful that a bunch of men are going to start flocking her way. But in reality, that's like the last thing we even care about. So OG, you're going after a woman with no car, lives in an apartment, mm. can't figure out her car, mm. ain't got no money. Mm. Nietzsche, I think you need a better woman. 
I don't think that a woman's worth is measured by any of those things. And that's, that's the problem. I'm and glad that's the disconnect. you said that. And that's the disconnect we have. Because I was waiting for this. I was waiting for this. Oh, she doesn't need to have anything. She doesn't have anything. She can. She doesn't have to. Have, her income doesn't matter. Her degrees don't matter. All these things don't matter, right? But then gold diggers. She just wants me for my money. Oh, I, I want to go 50-50. How are you going to go 50-50 with somebody who don't have nothing? How are you going to be mad at gold diggers when you don't care what a woman has? Do we care about what women have or do we not care about what women have? You don't like women with degrees because they think they're better than men. They make their own money. Y'all don't really want women that make their own money because then you can't control women. And this next we have this couple over here. You could definitely tell they've been together for quite some time. The OV, your husband never knows when enough is enough. And this sex with this guy, I guess, was getting exposed on the internet for hanging out with other women overseas. Now, apparently, he was getting framed that he was paying these women or these women were using him. But in reality, this is actually the true background of the story. Now, if you guys want to marry overseas, that's that's your thing. I'm kind of 50-50 with it because you could be potentially getting used. And that's definitely something that can happen. Hey, TikTok, I have a confession to make. Over the past few days, multiple news articles have come out. I'm in contact with Vice and New York Post, so more on the way. And before they do, I want to tell you guys the truth. When you see me hanging out overseas with beautiful Colombian or Asian women, people have suspected for a long time that these women are being paid or they're poor and uneducated looking for a come up. And the truth is, she went to Cambridge and she has her own money. Truth is, dating in America is probably the worst place in the world to date as an American man. Some women in the West are taught men ain't shit and masculinity is toxic. At the same age as some women in other countries are taught the little things you can do to help a man feel heard and respected. Like how boys are taught to open doors or give flowers to women. People need the passport bros to be losers or predators. Because then they don't have to wonder why intelligent, successful, genuine men are leaving and having the time of their lives. The truth is, American dating culture has 50% single men, 50% divorce rate, 70% initiated by women. The truth that none of these articles want to talk about is that almost every man who leaves the American dating scene will come back and report that it is dramatically different and so much better. Finally, Passport Bros was started by the black community, yet the media wants to paint me as the face for it. I don't know if it's because it fits better with their narrative of it being a product of colonialism. I feel really grateful to be embraced by that community early on and seeing all the support in my comments, but they should still give credit where credit is. In this next one, I guess this guy is trying to say the B word as many times as possible to this girl. I guess it was some kind of challenge, but she was still kind of interested Super weird. How you doing? Well, why you why you make that face? No, 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 not at all. I would never say something like that. I just wanted to come over here and tell you that I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. Why are you looking around like that? Who are you? My name's McQueen. You gotta give me a chance to say what's up. Okay. Introduce myself. Are you Spanish? Yes. What breed of Latino are you? Hey. Damn, bitch. I mean, what, what are you saying? What did you say? No, 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 no. I was just saying. Dick. And this sucks. I'm not gonna lie. It was super foul. Post with a camera. Yeah, I'm see. <laughs> <laughs> that one there was a vibe. And this next one, I guess people are starting to realize that men don't only care about looks. We care about other things like personality and, of course, her past. Don't get me wrong. We still care heavily about looks, but everything else still matters. We don't really care about appearances. We more so care about personality. Really? It's a big hit. Guys want a good girl overall more so than their appearance. The guy wants the privilege of introducing a girl and being like, wow, this is the first thing I've experienced. And you want to show her the way. I think that's what... And the final perfect clip on the list, guys, we have this man over here. I guess he's getting exposed on his own wedding day for cheating. And his wife is absolutely flipping out. The crazy part about all of this is everybody is laughing. Not a single person is taking this seriously. And I don't like that, to be honest. If the roles were switched and a woman was caught cheating on her wedding day, everybody would be flipping out. But just because it's a man doing it, it's okay? I, I don't think so. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Let's just get some to watch this guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.